So we see here Tesla is not doing too well today. It's already down 8%, down about $25.91 at the minute that I'm recording this video. And we got some news from Tesla that they missed Wall Street's production estimates. We're going to hop into an article very quickly in about a minute or two to see what exactly happened here. But let's take a look at this chart, guys, to see how much Tesla has fallen. So we see it's down about 8% right now, and it closed closed the day, I believe, on Monday at about $330. We can see here on the 20-day, one-hour chart, we can see we were all the way up to about $330, $340. We got rejected officially right now by this 180-day simple moving average, and we've fallen like a knife pre-market hours and into the, the trading day today due to this news that I'm about to show you guys, and I'm sure all you Tesla investors out there already know this, but I I wanted to make a quick little video today on this anyway, and uh, let's just hop right into it. So Tesla misses Wall Street estimates with 90,700 vehicle deliveries in the fourth quarter shares tumble. Tesla delivered 90,700 vehicles during the fourth quarter, falling shy of Wall Street's uh, estimates here, but they were already up 8% from the previous third quarter, which is a good sign, but again, they missed Wall Street's estimates, which really just sends stocks tumbling a lot of the time, guys, and this is exactly what's happening right now to Tesla. So Tesla boosted production during the quarter, churning out 86,555 vehicles, up 8% from 80,142 during the third quarter. Investors are disappointed in the news, sending the shares down in pre-market trading. So another very interesting thing that Tesla did was they cut the uh, models by $2,000. And we can see that here. The company which released its production and delivery results for the fourth quarter also announced that it, it was cutting prices on all of its models by $2,000 to help offset a reduction in federal tax credits for drivers who buy electric vehicles. So the fourth quarter marked an end to 7,500 federal tax credit that Tesla was able to use to lure buyers in the past. So that was cut in half to $3,750 starting January 1st. So there are a lot of ideas out there on to why Tesla might have done this. Some bears think, you know, they're doing this to stimulate more demand, like said right here. And, you know, I could agree with that to a certain extent because, you know, we've seen Tesla's cars, right? They're very expensive cars. You know, they're making a new model right now that is more affordable to the average person, which I think is a very good idea for expansion of the business because, you know, if these cars guys are running people 80, 100, you know, 100... $20,000 sometimes, right? If you put the most expensive battery pack in there, you know, the longest la lasting battery pack and all of some other features that they have, you know, these cars can run up to $120,000. If Tesla has this model of more luxurious cars, you know, they're not going to be able to reach as many people, right? So that's why they're starting to, you know, potentially, um, this is potentially why they're starting to, um, you know, cut the costs of the car by $2,000. This could be the reason, right? And, you know, this is something that I think, again, is a good idea just to stimulate more demand. So the company delivered 8% more vehicles during the quarter, a new all-time high, but the numbers were fewer than expected by Wall Street like we said. So the company said it delivered 63,150 Model 3s, 13,500 Model S sedans, and 14,050 Model X SUVs. Wall Street analysts forecasted 64,000 Model 3s, so they were cut short on that. 14,200 for the Model S, cut short on that. And 13,600 for for Model X, which was actually surpassed. So according to the average estimates of nine analysts, that is what they were, you know, expecting for Tesla this quarter. And, you know, Tesla boosted production during the quarter. We talked about that. But, you know, previously gave investors hope was that the production rates would improve, saying the number of label hours, labor hours to build a Model 3 fell by more than 30% from the second to the third quarter. The company also told 
told investors in late October that it took less time to build the Model S sedan and Model X sport utility vehicle. Another first for the company. So let's just take a look right here, guys. This is a very interesting little paragraph here. CEO Elon Musk announced that on October 23rd, the company planned to limit certain options on its higher end Model S sedans and Model X SUVs to streamline production. The company also announced plans during the fourth quarter to start selling a $45,000 version of the Model 3 before raising the price to $46,000. It has yet to produce the Model 3 uh, base Model 3, which it has promised for a price of $35,000 before incentives. And this is what I talked about a couple minutes back, the cheaper model of the car, which is going to, you know, expand the company just to a larger market so people you know more of the average american out there you know middle class person could afford a tesla if they do like the vision they do want to be environmentally friendly they do want to get into a you know cooler looking um you know electric vehicle because we know a bunch of other companies you know make electric vehicles but none of them are as sleek looking as tesla at least in my personal opinion so giving this opportunity to the the uh, middle class person of 35 5k and even 45k guys is a very good idea in my personal opinion so drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think is tesla going to keep going down in price i personally hope so because my price target right now on tesla where i want to add more shares is at about $250. I talk about this all the time, and I'm just waiting patiently, guys, because I like Tesla, guys. I want to make this one of my, you know, riskier investments, put about 5% of my portfolio in it, because I honestly believe in Elon Musk and the vision that he has for the company. So I'll catch you guys in the video later today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. Good luck today.